How you doing? My name is Eki IMU. I've taught and tutored math for a total of 10 years. I taught two years in grade school. And um, also in college level, I was a tutor for many years. I love helping people in mathematics. It's a hobby for me. It's fun. And I love seeing students who used to get Fs and Ds become Bs and A students. This is second of uh, this series. I came up uh, through my experience. I came up with six kinds of problems most students have problems with when dealing with math problems in the math class. So hopefully this will make life easy for you and turn you to an A student. When you have a problem like this, you're asked to simplify this. Please excuse my dear Auntie Sally. The P is parenthesis. E stands for exponents. M is for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. You go from left to right. So you must do the parenthesis and exponent problems first before you move to the multiplication and division. And lastly, the addition and subtraction. You never go from right to left. If you do the addition subtraction problems, part of the problem, before the multiplication, division, or parenthesis and exponents, the likelihood of you getting the problem wrong is high. So, in this case, let's deal with this exponent first. This is basically uh, 12 times 6 plus 9. 3 squared is 9. We do the exponents before the addition and the multiplication. And now we do the multiplication next. 12 times 6 is um, 72 plus 9. And at this point, I no longer need the exponent, but the brackets, the parentheses, because I now know 72 plus 9 is 81. So I bring down my 6 plus, which is it. And I bring down my divided by 9 and um, exponent of, I mean, in minus 5 in parentheses. What do I do next? I have a division here and I have a multiplication here. Whenever I see a number in bracket or parentheses, it's a multiplication. Especially, it's a multiplication, basically. So we now have uh, 6 plus 81 divided by 9 times negative 5. Always do left to right. So division comes before multiplication. So it's going to be a 6 plus 9. 81 divided by 9 is 9 times negative 5. We have addition and multiplication. We must do the multiplication first. The plus 9, plus nine multiplied by negative 5, the signs are different. When you multiply signs and the signs are different, it's a negative. So we have a negative 45. 6. So plus 9 times negative 5 is a negative 45. So the 6 comes down. So your answer is negative 39. I hope this makes sense. When I was growing up as a kid, math was my problem. I, I hardly passed math. But today I'm a math teacher. So when I was growing up, I was no different from you who had a problem with education, with math, or you grew up in the ghetto, uh, your parents had little or no education. Math problem is math problem. It takes time and discipline, practice. So you can watch this video over and over again to see the steps I did and see if you can get negative 39. Good luck and stay blessed.